And this has been the craziest two weeks, two and a half weeks of our lives. But um, before we get into all of that, there's a lot going on. Um, but first, we are on our way to go get my Rogam shot. Yes, and can you explain to people, Abby, what is Rogam? Why do you need it? Yes, so sorry. We I always like to start filming on the bumpiest road, so the camera's just like this. Hold on, give me one second. All right, I'm gonna try to set the camera up. I think that works, or no, it's actually... It's worse. <laughs> it's worse, hold on. All right, I think this works, uh, but Josh is about to make a turn, so <laughs> let's see if the camera slides. Do you I'm think it's gonna to slide? Turn. Let's see. How are we, like, what, two years into this and we still don't have, like... We just need a dash cam thing. Ah, there it goes! <laughs> All right, this intro is just as wild as our lives have been. But yeah, so I have to go get a Rogam shot. And that is because this one right here, this guy is O positive blood type. O positive, you wouldn't think much of it, but me, I am A negative. And since I'm negative, Josh is positive. I don't think it really matters about like O and A, like I don't think the letter matters. I think it's more of the him being positive and me being negative that it has the chance of this baby's blood type being josh's being positive in poppy's situation poppy got my blood type yes yeah, so poppy is o positive like so she lit they literally are twins like they are the whoa. whoa big puddle they are the exact same person even have the same blood type so i had to do this with poppy because i don't know the technical term but supposedly i think like we just don't want our bloods to mix. Like if, if it can be bad for the mother, obviously. Yes, if he is just like Josh and positive and just like Poppy and I'm negative, if our bloods mix, it, something could happen to me. I think. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's how they explain it. But um, so I have to go get this shot that's supposed to help. You know what? I really don't know what the shot does. We're gonna find out exactly what the shot does. Josh is great to ask the questions. I'm like, just give me the shot, whatever. I don't, I don't understand, but I just know it has something to do with the baby potentially having Josh's blood type. <laughs> I don't know. We're a mess. Okay, we're about to pull into the parking garage of the hospital, but let's just say, like, I've been at this hospital three times in the past what four days. Yes. <laughs> five days and I was in the emergency room at one point so um that's how crazy our lives have been but once we get through all this we'll sit down and fill you guys in but now we're in this parking garage and it's time to go get my shot somehow we are always late hey oh my god That was like the fastest appointment ever. We found out, what did we find out? So the Rogam, I believe that's how you pronounce it, shot is to protect the baby obviously and the mother as well um, from, in you know, the bloods mixing, especially different, <laughs> okay, you especially sound just, different blood types. Uh, you sound just as confused as we did. Oh my God, did I just have a stroke there? You sound just as confused as we did earlier. So she said it protects mainly the baby, but we were right from blood mixing. From blood mixing, um, and essentially, we I could go on about it and really explain it, um, how, you know, through the DNA and the process of uh, the child being birthed, how it, you know, what blood type Okay, it takes, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm trying to explain it in ways people would understand, but um, we could get into it in another video and I could go over that. But, okay, um, do your research. But yeah, no, basically, um, if baby J comes out negative blood type like me, I don't need to do the Rogam anymore. But if he comes out positive, then I have to do Rogam. And then if we have another child, I have to do Rogam. So hopefully he comes out negative, like me, like his mama, and then we don't have to do it anymore. But it's really not bad, it's just a shot. Before we hit you guys with some crazy news and crazy updates, we're gonna go check out the house. Yes, uh, the house is coming along. I think the last time uh, we showed anything, were the windows in yet, Ab? No, so we have windows and I think we have a door? We some doors? Windows, <laughs> a couple doors, a couple sliders. So yeah, let's go check out the house and show you guys the progress. It's going fast, but also slow, but also fast, but also fast, I guess. I don't know. 
it's going rather fast. Uh, right now, we're we're almost into the new year, and we're scheduled out. I think we're drywalling in two weeks, so that's moving pretty quick. And once we get the drywall in, everything's really gonna hopefully take off after that inside. So All we'll right, see. so let's go see some windows. Blow kiss? Would you like to blow kiss? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, who loves love? <laughs> oh, we've got sticky feet. What's all over your face? <laughs> Daddy, smell. Smell. She Ew. said smell. Ew. Daddy. Hello. She says my name with a Peppa Pig accent. She does. Say Daddy. Oh, oh, that's not nice. Right in the face. Daddy, oh, Dutch. Oh, she's Dutch. She said, Are you stuck? stuck? Do you need help? Um, there you are. Can you say Daddy? Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Very good. Can I have a hug? Thank you. She wants to get out. <laughs> Wee. Where's she? Where are you going? Oh my goodness! Whoa, that's a big sloth. Who got a big sloth? Oh. Let me see it. Oh. Sloth monster! <laughs> sloth monster! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So yeah, it is almost New Year's Eve. Christmas did not go as planned. It did not. We did none of the things we talked about in the podcast. If you haven't listened to that yet, go check it out. It's a fun episode, but um, we were supposed to host and we got sick. It was a big bummer, but we got to see immediate family because we were better by the time, but we still- And I told you, it's every year, but this is the first time ever, ever in my life that I've been sick on Christmas. Usually yeah. I get sick New Year's Eve, but this year I got sick on Christmas. New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so fingers crossed there's no more. I feel great, I feel great. <laughs> we had our Christmas morning, just us three, yep which was actually pretty special, cool. um, which I like. So look forward to next year. Hopefully we can host in the new house. So during my sickness, um, I had to go to the hospital, which I posted about on Instagram. Yeah. Um, my heart rate went really high. I had my Apple Watch on. On the couch, her heart rate was 125 and up, yeah. and upwards from there. And I was like, oh my God. And then she, her cheeks, like right around here. We can show the picture. Like really red and flush. She just looked terrible. and. I, the only thing too that worried me, she seemed very confused. Like I was asking her something, and she was just like, "I was just like, I was like, out okay, you were like out of it." And but it's weird. I didn't have a fever, but my skin was <clears throat> yeah. boiling. So I called my doctor, and he was like, "Go to the emergency room or go to the hospital." And they were amazing. They got me in. They got I got we were checks, there for three hours chest X ray. I got all my levels checked. Everything was was figured out and fine. Um, and it just came back that I had, you know, I had the flu, I was sick and whatnot, but, um, everything went good. They gave me IVs, fluid. So that was my first, that was what, Wednesday night or something I went to the hospital? Yep. And then I had to go a couple days later, once I was feeling better and tested negative for everything, I had to go get my glucose testing. Mm. And if you don't know what that is, that is that sugary drink they give you. I took a picture of it. And um, you have to wait an hour after you take it to check out your glucose level. And it's gestational diabetes for if you're pregnant. Which... Like, well. So <laughs> that being said, you're, are you clear? Are you... I am okay. in the clear. I have no gestational diabetes. But um, during that, they do blood work for everything. And some... Bad news, well, not bad news, just not good news. Unfortunate news. Unfortunate news about my blood work that came back is I am anemic, mm. which we kind of knew with Poppy. Um, after I gave birth with Poppy, my levels dropped so low that I had to do two iron transfusions in the hospital. Yep. And then we never followed up on it, which I don't know if that was on me or whatnot. But um, the good news is uh, we have a full team. They actually have an anemia 
pregnancy, pregnancy sec- specialist sector <laughs> of the hospital. Um, they're going to be reaching out to Abby next week, and we're going to have a meeting with them to see uh, what we can do to be proactive about this anemia uh, thing for Abby and make Especially, sure she's healthy. Yeah, going forward, especially with the C-section, with the C-section, um, just because, you know, you want to make sure all level levels are good. So I'm assuming I mean, I'm not upset about it. It's just it's a bummer. And my guess is I might have to do maybe some iron transfusions before I give birth instead of like doing it in the hospital. And then which then segues us into now, which then segues us into what I did this morning. Which we did explain, as I said, I'll, I can go over it in another video, the extent <laughs> of what it is, why to get a Rogam shot. But essentially, two different blood types. Uh, you know, Abby's A negative, I'm O positive. You don't want those bloods mixing, uh, especially if the baby gets my blood like Poppy. Yeah. Um, so they give you a Rogam shot, and um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, <sighs> It's just been, and then we didn't even say... Some of the family got the stomach bug. Oh. So it's just been... That went around, yeah. It was, it's been a brutal holiday season, and but you got to count your blessings because yes. think of how many awesome holidays we've had. This is really like the first holiday we didn't really get to spend a lot with family because there was a lot of sickness going around and yeah. um, hopefully next year will be a lot better. And we, we tried everything to prevent it. I didn't send Poppy to gymnastics. We didn't go to any Pens games. I didn't lick any more toilet seats. <laughs> yeah, like public. we really tried. Um, I think the moral of this is um, we kind of forgot I was pregnant and realizing like we're getting so close to the end. I'm now at my two-week appointments. Mm-hmm. I'm going every two weeks. It's overwhelming. I'm glad we found out about my anemia yes. and we're going to get it figured out. We got my Rogam shot. Like Josh said, fingers crossed this baby. If he is negative like me, then I don't have to do it anymore. And um, hopefully we just aren't going to triage every day like we did with Poppy. But, <laughs> but to end, end <laughs> but to end on a positive note, the house is oh, coming along. Yeah. Is there a positive? Um, we are healthy now. Poppy is healthy. Yep. Our family is healthy. We had a different holiday, but it was the best holiday. I feel a little warm. No, no, don't say that. Don't say that. But we wish everyone a happy new year. And if you haven't already, check out our episode of our new year new me we talk about we got engaged on new year's yep. eve we talk about all of our stories and our our goals for the new year so yeah i think that's it we did a lot of talking this vlog we did a lot of vlog talking <laughs> a lot of talking all right i um, need to go shower but like, desperately. just wanted to say from the herberts we want to wish everyone out there viewing today viewing tomorrow a prosperous and happy new year happy new year and hopefully right. i shower more in the new year kind of smell <laughs> yay all i want in a dream we are together